He shattered records at Jim Ned High School in a small Texas town called Tuscola. But would this devastating blow on a big stage at UT shatter his shot at greatness? Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on This Forgotten Day in Longhorns Football, presented by Direct Energy, December 2nd, 2006, the Houston Chronicle reported that Texas A&M coach Dennis Franchoni and freshman defensive lineman Kellen Hurd had apologized for a late hit on Texas Longhorns redshirt freshman quarterback Colt McCoy. With 121 left, the number 11 Longhorns were down 12 to 7 against the unranked Aggies when McCoy threw his third interception of the game. Now, immediately following the pick, Kellen Hurd dished out a brutal hit on McCoy, knocking him to the ground. The hit was so devastating, Hurd was ejected from the game. However, that's not the hit that knocked Colt out of the game. McCoy had toughed out the first hit, and with 20 seconds left, the Longhorns had another chance. But this time, McCoy wouldn't make it out of the stadium walking. Aggie defensive end Michael Bennett dished out another crushing blow, whipping McCoy's head to the deck in an absolute stadium husher. And Colt would have to be carted off on a stretcher. 89,000 plus were frozen in panic until McCoy raised his left hand while being wheeled off. Meanwhile, the boos became deafening as most UT fans in attendance believed the hit was dirty and replays seemed to reveal helmet to helmet contact. Franchoni, however, never apologized for that particular hit. Now, thankfully, McCoy had feeling in all of his extremities and hospital tests revealed no structural damage. He suffered a severely pinched nerve in his neck, and nobody honestly thought he'd be back for the Alamo Bowl. But sure enough, on December 30th, McCoy showed a titanic level of small-town tenacity as he returned to the field to take on Iowa. He threw two touchdowns in that game, which tied the NCAA freshman record at the time with 29, and the Longhorns held off the Hawkeyes 26-24. The Sporting News named McCoy the NCAA Freshman Player of the Year, and it was the beginning of a fantastic four-year career. In 2008, Colt McCoy threw for 414 yards, leading the Longhorns to a victory in the Fiesta Bowl over Ohio State, and he finished runner-up in the Heisman voting. In 2009, McCoy was third in the Heisman voting and led the team all the way to the national championship game against Alabama. Sadly, on the team's first drive, McCoy injured his right shoulder and would have to exit the game for good. Doctors would not let him back in. Bama would prevail 37 to 21, and we'll just never know what could have been that night. But that wasn't the end of Colt McCoy's career. He is now in his sixth season in the NFL, and he's a backup quarterback for the Washington Redskins. All right, I wanna know, what's your favorite Colt McCoy memory? Let us know in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV, using hashtag ForgottenDayUT. 